Hi guys, this is Denise Brooks with Alexis Information Systems. Today, I want to share with you four tips of things that you can do to close your fiscal year in QuickBooks Enterprise. For this example, as I share my screen with you, I'm using QuickBooks Enterprise Desktop Version 2020. Now, if you have not downloaded the 2020 edition, you're missing out because your QuickBooks Enterprise is a subscription. It's either a monthly subscription or a yearly subscription. So every time there is a new version, that version is either emailed to you with the license number or you can go to your Intuit.com account and download the software and your license. Here are the four tips to close your fiscal year. Number one, you want to check and confirm your customer balances and your vendor account balances. The next one would be for you to run your profit and loss statement along with your balance sheet. Now, don't just run it. After you get that report, and by the way, your timeline, your time, your range, your date range needs to be for the entire year. So there's one of the features says this year. So choose that one before you run your profit and loss statement and your balance sheet. Once you run them, you can then click the export feature and export that information into Excel. Why? Well, you can, that's the information you will need as you forecast for next year. I had a video last week about planning your year and I talked a little bit about forecasting uh, and that forecasting data I was referring to is coming from your profit and loss statement and your balance sheet. The next idea you may have to wait till the beginning of, of the year, maybe the first day you come back to work in 2020. Change your default report date. Last but not least, back up your data. Save a copy of your company file on an external drive or even a jump drive. That way, if something were to happen to your computer, you have a copy of your company file for your taxes. Some people I know actually print their P&L and balance sheet just to be on the safe side.
this is my last video for 2019. I would like to wish you all the best for the year that is coming. And I hope to see you for my first video the second week of January, where we will talk about what to do as you set up to start a new fiscal year. Have a great day, a great year, and I hope to see you soon.